subati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating Itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED Hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ako ang inyong lingkod, Tutor Match. Welcome sa ating itulay, ang ating libreng online tutorial na hatid ng ating kagawaran ng edukasyon, ICTS EdTech. Ang programang ito ay inaasahang makatutulong at maging karagdagang kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral mula kinder hanggang senior high school, ALS, ALIVE, at SPED learners. Bukod sa pagsagot ng mga modules, Ang itulay ay may mga special programs din na siguradong aabangan ninyo araw-araw. Katuwang ang ating mga minamahal na mga magulang at guro ay maitutulay natin ang pagkatuto. Kaya, ihanda na ang inyong module, lapis, papel o kwaderno. Ihanda rin ang isip, mata at tenga sa isa na namang makabuluhang aralin. Tayo nang matuto kasama ang inyong volunteer online tutor sa oras na ito. Good evening, everybody! Kamusta po kayo? Ayan, meron tayong first honors. May top one tayo sa mga viewers natin tonight. I'd like to acknowledge um, our viewer, our first computer, I think. Kasi baka may iba din nakaview na nauna, pero siya ang pinakauna nag-comment. Um, shout out to you, Apple, Apple, Apple A. Cruz, 11 gas, makapagal, San Miguel National High School, general biology teacher, Mary Ann, si Ma'am Mary Ann Aquino ang teacher niya, so uh, gas 11, um, makapagal, San Miguel National High School. We also have Enrico Dalupan, good evening po, I am Enrico Manuel Dalupan. I am from BDF High School. I am from grade 11 STEM. Ayan, marami tayong mga senior high school. Um, mga mga ALS na natin, no? Sana meron din tayong mga ALS learners. Meron din tayong mga 11, um, grade 11 students. Uh, shout out to you. How's your Monday so far? Kamusta ang unang araw ng linggo? I hope everybody is fine. Everybody is um, healthy. Everybody is um, feeling well at this moment. Salamat sa pagsama sa akin ha. This is the last um, last slot for the Ito Live Monday. At salamat sa pagsama sa akin ngayong gabi. So we're from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Monday. Okay, good evening po. Watching po from ALS. 
BES, Junior High School po ng Navota City, Belinda Paner. Also, I'm so excited. I'm, I am so excited in high school last year. Yes, you, when you were in grade 10, okay? I'm also a, a grade 11 teacher, okay? Another Monday, another lesson for our ALS LS1 English subject for us, okay? So welcome to another session of our ALS LS1 English subject, okay? Panibago tayong lesson, no? Last week, we discussed about effective communication, no? So we learned, uh, we were reminded on how to communicate politely, nicely, and also to, to, to express oneself in a nice way, ha? Huh? So always in a nice way, in a polite way, okay? This evening, another lesson about effectivity or if, uh, the efficacy, being effective, uh, ineffective writing, okay? So our topic this evening is about effective writing. Ayan, no? Ang pinakamahirap sa gagawin sa, sa English, no? It's about the, the, the writing part, okay? Kasi the, the most difficult part in writing is how to start. No? How to start writing about my topic. Okay? Pinakamahirap yan. But once you started, there diretso na yung ideas niyan. Ang pag-umpisa lang naman ang medyo mahirap. So you're with me. I'm Tutor Noreen. Okay? Our topic this evening is about effective writing. Our learning target, distinguish the rhetorical patterns of organization in writing. So, so we will distinguish or we will identify the patterns of writing ngayong gabi. And also write a simple composition. This time, um, siguro hindi tayo mag-compose uh, kasi we're last. So I will just ask you some senses about a certain topic, okay? Mayroon pa ba tayong i-shout out dyan? Okay? When, okay. Si Enrico Dalupan ang last nating commenter. Okay? Let's continue. Okay? Now here, before we go to our um, topic, well, our lesson, okay? Kindly give me one sentence or your ideas about this. How to get a national ID? Paano nga ba? What did you do? For those who have already applied for a national ID, what did you do? Uh, tingnan natin sa comment. Anong ginawa ninyo? How to, to get a national ID? Ano? Anong ginawa ninyo? Nung kumuha kayo ng national ID? Pa nakakuha? Anong, anong unang ginawa ninyo? Ah, anybody from our groups? Anong ginawa niyo? Ako, nag-research muna ako kung saan ang, uh, ang merong applyan. No? Saan ako mag apply Okay? Saan ako mag apply for national ID? Yes, that's one. What else? How to get a national ID? Okay, pagdating mo doon, you'll have to what? Anong gagawin niyo pagdating doon? Opo. <laughs> okay. Opo, tatayo. Kung wala nang upuan, di, tatayo. Okay? What else when you get there? Okay. Certificate of uh, birth certificate and one government issued identification document which bears full name, front facing photograph, and signature or some mark of from Enrico Dalupan. Feeling ko tapos na to si Enrico Dalupan nag, nag apply for national ID. So you, you need to have birth certificate. Okay. PSA issued. Okay. And one, um, valid ID or government issued ID pwede na din yung ano no di ba yung postal ID okay yung mga field health or um pag uh, what they call that SSS or GSIS no SSS something like that which bears your full name okay pagdating mo doon you'll have to fill up the form na no? mag-fill up ka ng form and then Tuloy-tuloy na yon. Good evening po, Reduban Ali. Ayan, ating mga suki for every Monday. So, Reduban Ali parati yan. Okay? So, mag-fill up ka. So, you have to wait for another instruction. So, if somebody will ask you how to get a national ID. So, instead of, sige, isulat mo na lang yung ano. Isulat mo ako nung gagawin ako, ako ng no ID. So, so, yan ngayon. So, there is a purpose of your writing. So, your purpose is to give the instruction to get a national ID. Okay? So, lahat ng sinasulat natin may purpose. And ang lahat ng sulat natin ay may organization. 
just like us. Diba marami tayong mga organ- organization sa buhay natin, sa church, sa youth, sa, sa community, sa barangay, diba meron tayo. So, in an, in, a, in an organization, may isa lang ang, ang direction of of all members. No? So, just like in writing, kapag kapag dapat may organization ang writing natin, okay? Kung para lang yan to, to give instruction to do something, then you have to stick to it para magbigyan mo ng justif- uh, ma-justice yung purpose of writing. Okay? So, yan. So, pwede. Uh, okay, one is to secure a PSA issued um, birth certificate. Okay? And one issued ID. So, something like that. So, ne- let's go to the next. Okay, next question. What is Omicron virus? Ano po iyan? Anybody? Um, this is a very common um, word nowadays. Ano yung masa? Give me one sentence that you know about Omicron virus. Anybody? I am late in for me. I, I am late. Okay, Enrico? Okay. Enrico... Uh, is uh, okay, okay, grade 11. Yes. Um, ano yung Omicron virus? What do you know about it? Anybody? Okay. Anybody from the group para may shout out ko kayo and your school and your teacher? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, very Enrico. He, he doesn't know. Naririnig siguro niya, right? Yung, yung ano? Yung word na to. Anybody from the group? Ano yung Omicron virus? Yes, new variant. Yes, number one yan. It's like a new variant of COVID-19. Okay, Reduban Alin. Okay, so new virus. What else? Aside from new virus. Variant. 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 Aside from new variant. Bakit ba variant? Okay. Anybody? Anybody from the group? Aside from I don't know. Very, very honest um, answer. Okay, new variant. What else? It came from? It originated from? Where? From, saan bansa ba yan galing? Alam, hindi kayo nanonood ng mga ano, current events, sa mga news, news channel. Wala kayong narinig sa mga news channel? Ha? Ah? New variant lang? What else? What else? It came from Africa. Okay, so pag sabihin mo, what is Omicron virus? It is a variant, a new variant of COVID-19. Okay, and um, number two is it came from or it originated from Africa. So, you, so, so you, you know, uh, when you hear the word and you know about it, May mga ideas na lumalabas sa, sa, sa mind mo. And that is, you are, if somebody is asking, what is Omicron virus? So, when you write about it, or when you say something about it, you are giving a picture of that certain subject to that person. Kaya very important on how to write, you know, uh, 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 how to write with uh, through definition. Okay. So, ayan, a new variant from Africa. Belinda, ayan, si Belinda Panel. Good evening po. Ayan, ayan, mga suki natin every Monday. Okay, last one. Na natin. Why is it not safe to drive when drunk? When a person is drunk? Bakit nga ba? Okay? There are many reasons. There are many reasons. Give me one. Parang mga apat or limang reasons. Bakit nga ba not safe to drive? Okay, South Africa, yes, yes, South Africa. From um, Bolivia, if I'm not mistaken, Bolivia ba yun? South Larabi. Okay, somewhere in Africa. Okay, why is it not safe to drive when a person is drunk? Bakit nga ba? It can cause accident. Okay, that's too general, right? Pag sabi natin, oh, huwag mag-drive pag drunk ka. Okay, it can cause accident. Okay, that's the, the major um, reason. Um, to, when driving drunk, okay, it causes accident. It can interfere with attention, perceptual functioning, and motor skills, as well as decision making while driving. Very good, talaga to si Enrico Dalupa. Very detailed. Lahat ng answers nito ang talaga. 
detalyado, drinking beer, <laughs> that's being drunk. Hindi na makontrol ang sarili. Yes, you will be out of control of yourself and it can interfere your attention. You will be out of balance, out of, um, not out of your mind, but out of balance, prone to accidents, Ayala Velasquez, pag nakainom, yes, prone to accidents. And it is illegal, right? could cause reckless driving. Ka-illegal yan. Kahit saan tayo. Tapos malaman na nag-drive ka um, drunk, then you will be arrested. Okay? Pag nakainom. So, there are a lot of reasons why driving while drunk is not safe. And when you write about it, there is this organization that you follow. May mga mga ways of writing kayo na pina-follow na hindi ka lalabas doon sa organization na 'yon. Okay? And that is our lesson for tonight. Okay? What are these rhetorical rhetorical patterns of writing? Okay? When you say rhetorical patterns, this refers to a specific way of arranging information and ideas in a text or paragraph. Okay? These patterns are very important. Kasi, this will justify the purpose of writing. Kaya dapat alam mo tong mga patterns na to. Okay? Para hindi sabog yung writing mo. Okay? Pag, uh, when you write for um, commercial purposes, kaya yung mga nababasa natin sa mga news channel, ganyan-ganyan, sa, sa usual, especially nowadays, kasi kaliwat ka news natin, no? Mga current events. May mga sinusunod silang specific way or patterns of writing. Hindi lang basta-basta. Kasi if you were um, if you were the reader, if you were the viewer, you know na, ay, saan ba ito patungo yung sinasabi niya? Or saan ba ito patungo yung sinusulat niya? Okay? So so you have to stick to the purpose of writing. Para saan ba ito? Para saan ba itong nira-write ko? Okay? Ba bakit, uh, sabi niya, bakit not safe to, to drive when drunk? O, so doon ka lang. Okay? So, Enrico, yeah, perfect score talaga si Enrico Dalupan. That's true. Kaibihan. So, what, te, what 11 over 10. Pwede ba yun, Enrico? Okay, very good. Ito si Enrico, abangan ko din to every Monday. Okay? Ay, mga ano ko dito, mga avid viewers. Ayan, bumabalik talaga every Monday. Okay? Prone to accidents. Okay? Rhetorical patterns um, of organization in writing. What are these? Okay, one is definition. Okay? One is definition. Parang mali yung spelling ng ano, pasensya na. I haven't, uh, I haven't um, checked the, the spelling. Okay, one. Okay, definition. Never mind the, never mind the, <laughs> the spelling, pasensya na. So, definition, okay? Definition, second is um, cause and effect. Three is comparison. Four is chronological order. Five is decreasing importance. And six is developing through examples. We will discuss each of them, okay? We will discuss each of them, okay? One, okay? Definition. Yun yung tinatanong ko sa inyo about Omicron virus. So when you give um, a definition or ideas about a subject, mean to say you're giving picture about that subject, okay? Nalagyan mo na siya na ngayon ng description about that particular subject or stating the group to which something belongs and how it is different from other members of the same group and that is definition look at the example a dalmatian belongs to the animal group called dogs it is different in appearance from other dogs because of its white color and black spots okay look at the look at now the definition why it becomes a definition if you do not know what is a Dalmatian dog, then if you see this paragraph, then you will likely imagine what a Dalmatian dog looks like, right? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. It is different in appearance from other dogs because of its white color. So, make imagine ka na ngayon of my, my ang dog, a dog with um, white color and black black spots. Okay, so that's an, an, an example of definition. Okay, paano yan pag gagamitin mo siya to uh, self-description, okay? I am from Ilocos, therefore I am an Ilocano. I am different from most Ilocanos because I grew up in Manila. 
So you are giving um, a view, a perception about yourself. You're from Ilocos, but you're just different from Iloco, Ilocanos because you grew up but originally you're you're from Ilocos this is just an example la. Oh, oh, ayan na. another detailed another detailed answer the Dalmatian is a breed of medium sized dog noted for its unique white coat mark with black or brown colored spots oh bravo enrico dupan okay very good uh, thank you enrico ha huh? you're giving life to our topic you're giving life to our live session tonight okay Taka, saan nga to si Enrico? Kasaan ka nga na? Okay? So, that is definition. You're giving um, a, 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 what do you call this? A description about a certain subject. Okay? Let's continue. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Of course, there is telling what happens. That's the result with reasons why it happened. That's cause. Okay, so mabilis lang, ano lang to, very common kasi nang ano to sa atin, uh, na, nagre-remind lang to sa atin, nagre-review lang to sa atin, but we should not forget them whenever we write. Okay, volcanoes erupt as a result of high pressure of liquid rock under the earth's surface. Okay, what is the, what is the cost there? Okay the cost i am leaving before it ends oh sorry senrico will um leave before the session ends babe maka maghapuna na ito magkakain na to ng dinner okay as a result of high pressure of liquid rock under the earth's surface where is the cause in that sentence asan ang cause oh answer na kayo para shout out natin together with your um school together with your place if you're from Mindanao, then at least ma-acknowledge natin yung place mo, yung barangay mo. Okay? So, may, meron tayong mga representatives. O, saan ang ano natin dyan? Ang cause. High pressure of liquid rock under the earth's surface. And then, of course, our, our effect is when that happens, volcanoes erupt. Okay? So what about um, self-description example? These are all found in your module, ha? Huh? So okay, if you're uh, holding your module right now, meron to sa module niyo. David twisted his arms. As a result, he won't be taking part in the basketball tournament. Oh, that's an example for cause and effect. Okay, very good, Enrico. Good evening, Sharon, Sharon Marie Tickman. Good evening po. Okay. I am very shy person because when I was young, I didn't have much in this with other people so this is always a call of something in the present no and everything we should also insert lang natin to no especially sa, ano, sa mental health natin no so everything happens for a reason okay so so meron yang meron yang ano there is logic behind it okay so parang it parang gaito she's shy kasi meron nga siyang there's a reason before it before the that moment okay before that um situation okay good evening okay let's continue to comparison comparison describes okay describing the similarities and differences between two things nowadays anong pagandang topic na i-compare what do you think? What are common topic or best topics to compare nowadays? Ano kaya? Yung Omicron variant and Delta variant, pwede no? Sana hindi talaga mag-effect sa atin, you know? So it is very alarming, the, the new variant. It is very alarming, but we will just hold on to the idea na marami na na-vaccinate sa atin. Okay, so that's one big important um, na pinanghawakan natin na marami na tayong nagpabakuna. Okay, so I hope mas, marami sa inyo, viewers, ang nagpabakuna na rin. Okay, so so th those two variants, no, pwede natin i-compare yon Or the presidentials, or what else? Ano kayang, ano, pwedeng i-compare no yung mga current events natin okay so comparison look at this the americans and the japanese are both leaders in the field of industry and economics 
The style of management of the Japanese, however, is very different from that of the Americans. Okay, both are leaders, but both are uh, each has different style. Okay, so kinumpere niya pareho sila, but they're kahit kaano sila pa similar, the same. There's always this um, pagkakaiba. Okay, and walang parehong parehong pareho. Okay? Except na lang sa copy and paste. Okay? Na parehong pareho talaga yun. So, in the, in, our, in, our, in the world, walang parehong tao, walang parehong ano, personality, walang ganon, kahit twins pa. Okay? Another example, Enrico, aka bro, echo, sure is, what's this? Sure is American singer, a share, share, I think share. Pag, uh, pagbasa nito, no, uh, uh, Enrico. Cher is American singer, actress, and television personality. Aka, goddess of pop. I was born uh, I was born an American. I live an American. I shall die an American. Why? I'd like to have a Japanese interpreter. Ano to, Enrico? <laughs> okay. American? Uh, okay. Later, maka mag-share pa yan si Enrico. Okay, my sister and I are of the same height and weight. But we differ in facial features, okay? So, comparison. If your purpose of writing is to compare, then do not go beyond it. So, compare ka lang and contrast. Yun lang. Wala nang halo-halo. Kung gusto mong another, another dimension of that topic, so another, ano na naman yun, another writing, another title, okay? Another... Uh, organization of writing is chronological order, okay? Dito yung pagkasunod-sunod, okay? Stating things in the order in which they happen according to time, from the newest to the oldest event, or from the earliest to the latest event, okay? Isa lang to, especially when someone tells you to write something, what happened last night? Or what happened um last holiday? Okay, so mag, mag na narrate kanyan. While I am handsome, so I like you one and CJ is just like CJ Navato. CJ Navato. Okay, <laughs> yan example ni Enrico. Okay, okay. When I was a child, I was very naughty and got in trouble a lot. But then, as a teenager, I have changed and become became quieter and into less trouble. Right now, I can say that I am a very nice person and rarely ever have problems with other people. See? So look at the, the, the words in pink um, color. So from child to teenager and at the present. Okay? So chronological order. Hindi ka dapat, nung teenager ako, ganito, tapos balik ka na naman sa child. No. So if, if you want a writing to be organized, your writing to be organized, you'll have to start and gusto mo from the least to the to the to the um, most important then so be it basta hindi siya magka interchange para maganda ang flow ng writing first i going okay to senior school then the child is eating junk foods without teenager nose right now i like healthy foods so ngayon when you were first i going to high school then the child is eating junk foods so, so when you were a child you used to eat junk foods, right? Enrico, tama ba? <laughs> very, very, ano to, inter, uh, interactive to si Enrico. Very good, okay? So that's chronological. Okay, so sunod-sunod yan, pagkasunod-sunod. Okay? Decreasing importance. Okay, ito yung pinaka, ano, um, but very important and then to the least Especially when you give reasons, okay? When you give reasons like, why is it not safe to drive when you're drunk? So, first, it couldn't cause accident. Ano pa yung pinakalis doon? Tama ba ang pinakalis as illegal? E dapat una yata ang illegal, no? Ano mo pinaka-importante? Okay? I like my notebooks. Well, I like my notebooks. Okay? So, from, decreasing from the most important, okay, to the least one. Okay, decreasing importance. Look at this. Staying information in order of importance from the most important to the least important. Okay? Example. Look at this. 
when cho choosing a job, it is important to consider that you are quali qualified for it. Okay? Una dapat i-consider mo when you look for a job. Dapat qualified ka. You'll have to ask yourself, not ask yourself, but you'll have to examine. Am I right for that position? Second, the salary is worth the amount of work you would be in. Oh no, qualified ka ba? Salary no ba? That the type of job is suitable for you and you will enjoy it. Ah, very important yun, no? Other people must prefer, ano, mas dapat enjoyable yung work ko. No? Saan, saan ba ang una dapat? Of course, number one pa rin, it, it cannot be compromised. It is non-negotiable. Dapat qualified ka pa Alam nga na mag, you, you're applying for the position of an engineer and then you are uh, an education graduate. Medyo iba yon, Iba yung forte nila. So, if the position um, asks for an engineering um, profes a professional, then you must be an, maybe a licensed engineer, something like that. Okay? And then, very important din yung very important din yung you enjoying your job. Okay? Pero pinakalis na yan. Kasi it follows eh. When you love your work, kahit sobrang dami pa yan, sobrang pagod pa yan na work, nakakapagod na work. When you love what you're doing, you will likely or you will, you, you, you will enjoy it. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. Kasimple. Ask yourself mo na qualified ba ako? Okay? Sometimes you will not ask for how much work you would be doing eh. Kasi you know that, uh, you know that when you are, um, you call this, when you're applying, example, you're a teacher, and you're applying for a position of a teacher, you know that you will be doing a lot. Okay? You should be, you know, you, you finish your course, there will be a lot of work, then you should be prepared about for it. Okay? you be prepared. Okay, that's it. So, pagpindala ka taas hanggang sa pagbaba. Okay? So, ma why? Bakit hindi dapat, ano, na yung pinakalis? Kasi yung importance of, ano, events, so you call this, uh, what you call this, um, pag ikaw yung magbasa, and ikaw yung makikinig, dapat pinaka-importante muna para yung yung emotion mo, yung yung thrill mo, pasubside na rin, ganyan. Pangbunga dapat yung pinaka-importante. Okay, self-description example. My main characteristics include by being assertive, sensible, friendly, and sure. Ay, ang una talaga pala, ang una pala talaga is um, assertive, sensible, friendly, and mature. Also, there are times when I can be fun to be with. Okay, that's the last one. Okay, developing through examples here. I think this is the last, okay, last, last um, rhetorical, rhetorical um, pattern. Describing what you are writing about by providing examples. This is very common. Pag hindi mag-gets masyado or you want to elaborate that um, sentence, you give example para mas malinaw, okay? Here, hygiene refers to cleanliness in terms of your body and surrounding. Example of hygienic practices would include regular bath, baths and daily household cleaning. Okay, so must specific, must clear if you give example. Okay, and this is very um, effective um, pattern. Okay, this is a very effective pattern sa, ano, sa writing. Example, I am normally a calm person but I get angry sometimes. For example, so when does he, this person become angry? For example, I get angry when I get stuck in a traffic jam for three hours and then I am late for work or when I cannot take a bath because there's no water. Nakaka-angry naman talaga. Okay? Nakaka-irita. Okay? So, so giving examples, okay, is a very good, a very effective um, way of writing na. Kasi mas klaro yung pinagsasabi mo. Okay? So, to summarize the patterns, okay? One is chronological order, description, arrange as to when the events happen. Okay? Next, cause and effect. What about this? Okay? Gives reasons for the result. Okay? Definition. So these were the uh, our ano, ha, patterns that we discussed earlier. 
What about definition? States characteristics and important details. Developing, developing examples, okay? Uses examples. Decreasing, okay? And decreasing from most important to the least important. Comparison, of course, is giving similarities and differences between or of two things of two subjects, okay? That's it. Okay? Patterns, okay? So, if, if you are given a topic, hindi pwede isa lang. Or pwede namang isa lang din. But you have possible patterns to 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 use okay example yung purpose mo of writing is to argue a point or opinion a position paper something like that e gusto kong ganitong mang ano eh ito yung pinawalaan ko eh what are the possible patterns that you could use one is okay there could be um many options decreasing comparison cause and effect developing through example so you are guided Okay? So, pwede mo yung gamitin mga yan when you are due, when you make a point. Okay? Next, what about to inform people to make aware of, to, to, uh, to make them aware of something? Announcement. Oh, gagawa ka ngayon ng writing. Okay? So, definition. So, yung mga ginagawa ng mga ano natin, health workers, especially the new variant. Okay? De definition, should they define? So, in example nila, paano ka maging mahawa sa new variant? So, yan. Okay? So, yan ang pwede mong gamitin. Yung dalawang yan. Depending through examples, comparison. Because sometimes, compare ang Omicron and the Delta variant. Okay? So, yan inform people. Okay? Especially when people are um, not yet aware of the subject. Okay? Next, to entertain or to amuse the reader. Anong possible pattern yung gagamitin mo? So, developing for example. Si mga comedy bars. Ayan. May mga pattern din silang sinusunod. Okay? So, hindi ka masyado mag... Hindi mo masyado magigits ang sinasabi niya kapag walang example. So, very effective ka gamitin mo yan ng example. So, decreasing importance also. Okay? So, pinakalataas. So, para pinakababa. Okay? Maria Lu Malina Malino. Okay? Good evening po. Okay? To give instruction, what will you use? The possible patterns that you can use chronological order. Okay? How to make, get a national ID. Cause and effect. Okay? What is? Okay? The story. Of course, wala nang iba chronological or cause and effect. Okay? To make the reader think and ask questions. Anong possible, ano natin, the terms? Comparison, definition, decreasing importance. Ayan, pwede yan. Okay? Tunan natin to. Ano kayong pwede dito? Gives reason, okay, what is this um, pattern? Gives reasons for the result. Alin siyan? Alin siyan? and gives reason gives reasons for the result chronological cause and effect definition developing decreasing comparison give me sir you want answer okay good evening trailer or trailer blank good evening po okay what is this pattern gives reasons for the result it's very easy na yan. anybody from the group from our viewer kindly type in your answer what pattern is being referred to by this one it gives reasons for the result na natin yung mga pinakaunang mag ano pinakaunang mag mabilis ang net ano yung chronological cause and effect definition developing cause and effect and rico ayan and jet pass rico okay Cause and effect. Okay. What about this one? States characteristics. Ano yan? States characteristics. Chronological, cause and effect, definition, developing, decreasing, comparison. Oh, states characteristics of a subject. Ano yan? Anybody? Parang naghapunan bang iba? Okay. Where are the others? Baka, ano, yung, yung, hindi sila naka. Okay, cause and effect. Okay, that's for the first one. The second one. The second, oh yes, comparison. Okay, compar uh, comparison pa? 
States characteristics. Definition. Okay, that's definition. That is Rosita Panotes. Panotes. Oh, I'm noticing you. Oh, yan. Taga saan si uh, Mampasita? Uh, Rosita Panotes. Okay, that's it. States characteristics. That's definition. Number three. Arrange as to when the event happened. I say, I'm answering. Chronological, cause and effect, definition, decreasing comparison. Ayan mga mabilis ang mga fingers. Mag-type ng answer. Malakas ang Wi-Fi, ang data, ang signal. What is that? Arrange as to when the events happen. Oh, ano kayo? Exercise lang to sa ano natin. Mga, mga minds natin. Chronological, Rosita Panotes. Okay? Next, use as examples. Developing, yeah, the, the definition number, okay? I am the, <laughs> yes, chronological, yes, that's number three, yes, yes, that's true, that's correct. Use as examples, that is developing through examples, very good. Okay, number five, from most important to the least important details, ano yan? Ano po yan? From most important to the least important details. Saan dyan? Decreasing. Okay, decreasing. Very good. Oh, the last one. Give similarities and differences. Uh, very easy na yan. That is comparison. Okay, very good. Okay, salamat sa pag-type. O oh, yan. Yan. Maano din, delay lang din pagdating sa akin. Ayan, nagsilabasan na yung mga answers ninyo. Trailer Blanco also decreasing. Um, Nara Gemeline, hi, good evening po. Examples. Ayan, nagsilabasan. Medyo delayed sa akin. <laughs> sa akin na. Okay. Better luck next time. You know, you've, you've been answering a lot, Enrico. And I'm, uh, yes, it's not bad because you've been contributing a lot this evening session. Okay? Nara Gemalin comparison. Okay, yan. Natin to. Ano to? What, what is the pattern used in this um, paragraph? Paragraph pinay na ano ha? Pina, hiniwalay-hiwalay sila by sentence. Okay? The purpose of writing. To show the beneficial effects of keeping your surroundings clean. Okay? One, sweeping away crumbs and leftover food from the floor to prevent cockroaches from coming into your house. Ito yung mga main points, ah. Keeping the grounds around the house clean and tidy. This makes your house nice and at, nice to look at from the street. Cleaning the whole house to prevent the presence of germs and to avoid sickness. Making your house look clean and tidy to impress the visitors. Anong ginamit niya na pattern dyan? Anong ginamit niya pattern dyan? Okay? The purpose of writing to show the beneficial effects of keeping your surroundings clean. Anong ginamit niya na, uh, na, na, na pattern? That is? Developing, yes, developing through example. Did I get, did I get correct score? Yes, trailer Blanco, you got it. Okay? Developing and, ano pa? Developing, pwede din cause and effect, meron ba? Wala masyado. Developing through examples, kapag being tidy, this makes your house nice from the street, okay? Or another path that is used is decreasing from the most important to the um, least important. Kung i, ano natin yan ha? Kung i, um, beautiful, rearrange natin yan. Pwede natin gawing decreasing na pattern. Okay? So, in short, you could use one or two patterns in one writing. Depende yan sa inyo. Kung ano yung uh, mas prefer ninyo. Basta wag ka lang gag gagamit na sobrang malayo. So, in this case, your, your, your purpose of writing is to show the beneficial effects. Then, I think you cannot use chronological. You're not giving an event. You're not describing an event. Okay? So, you're not comparing also, right? So, dapat tukma lang sa purpose of writing. Okay? Another purpose of writing. A message about how to become a member of the new Barangay Clubhouse. Okay? So, one, in the guidelines carefully, getting an application form and filling it up, submitting the form and the other requirements, 
paying the membership fee and getting your membership card. Anong ginamit niya na pattern dyan? One is, walang internet sa YouTube. Okay, oh, okay. Siguro wala. Medyo delayed lang siguro na. What? That is chronological order. So, pagkasunod-sunod. Okay, paano ba? If it's the answer is how, then you use you use the um, you use the chronological order. Because you're giving instruction. You're giving a process. Okay? Another um, writing or purpose of writing. To complain about the lack of water supply. Kung anong pattern ang pwede mong gamitin dyan. Okay? Look at the main points. Ito yung pinagsasabi niya. Yes, narag chemaline. That's chronological order. Okay? Water is a, necess is a necessity. So why don't we have enough of it? We pay for it. Give it, a, give it to us. It's really hard to do anything without water. You need to work because you cannot take a bath. Our children are getting sick because we cannot keep them, keep them clean and healthy due to lack of water supply. So what is the pattern used? Chronological ba? No. Cause and effect ba? No. It is decreasing from the most important reason sa complain. Bakit ka nga ba nag-complain? Anong pinaka-reason? Pinaka and down to the least important. Okay? Kung i-ano mo yan, i-arrange mo pa yan. So I'm just giving you um idea na paano or paano mag-write according to a pattern. Okay? Cause and effect. Yes, I agree with Enrico comparison. Comparison? Where's which one? <laughs> Comparison of contrast? I agree. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's Enrico. Still. Okay. So, let's remember. We are down to our slide. Nandiyan pa ba kayo? I-shoutout ko kayo, ha? Yeah, decreasing. That's correct. Red Duban. I-shoutout ko kayo after this slide, okay? So, to give you, uh, to, give, to, to thank you all for being with me until this time, uh, quarter to seven. Okay, let's remember. Rhetorical patterns are ways to organize information and ideas. So there are six patterns we discussed this evening. One is definition, comparison, cause and effect, chronological order, decreasing importance, and developing through examples. These are just few and very common, pero marami pa po talagang pattern. Ito lang yung pinidiscuss natin for tonight. Because this is a prepar uh, a, a, this is a preparation to our or for our next topic next Sunday, which is transitional words or transitional devices. So yun ang topic natin next Monday, okay? Kaya nag-discuss tayo nito, okay? So makikita niyo yung mga words na ginamit. Hindi is chronological, cause and effect, um, decreasing importance, okay? Uh, ano natin, pag-aralan natin natin next Monday, Okay? Ayun, thank you na agad. I'm, I'm early for tonight. Okay? I'd like to acknowledge uh, our, our viewers for tonight. Grade 12 next year, Enrico. Yes, congratulations in advance. Okay? Yes, I agree po, ma'am. Narag Chemali. And hi! Sina itong ano, nandito. Ilisha shout natin. Okay? Narag Chemali, si Reduban, Reduban Alin. Sino pa to? Tingnan natin yung mga ano natin. Okay, Nara, thank you also. Salamat sa pagsama sa akin for another episode of our um, LS1, ALS, ALS LS1 subject or session. Again, I hope to see one another. I'd like to see your name in the comment section next Monday, ha? From 6 to 7 p.m. Ang ALS natin every 5 p.m. to 7. So, dalawang subjects para every day sa ALS. Ating mga ALS learners. Ayan, nandiyan si Johan. Yun Tornlick. Okay, thank you. At panibago na naman. Ah, okay, thank you, Johan. Trailer Blanco. Okay, yes. Uh, thank you, Roma. Thank you, Ma'am Noreen. Yes, Roma. Thank you. Welcome. Okay? So, ang ALS natin, everyday pa rin ang ALS natin, ha? Kapag yung mga kapatid ninyo, yung mga kapitbahay ninyo, kapag nahirapan sa module, walang nag, ano, nagpa-follow up, na parents, example. So, sabi niyo, i-open nyo lang EdTech um, unit na Facebook page. Nandun yun. Everyday, pili lang kayo sa subject kasi kompleto tayo. Complete ang subjects natin na in-offer. Okay? By your um, volunteer tutors. 
from grade 1, may kinder pa ata eh. May kinder up to senior high, grade 12. Complete yan. Kaya, um, I will call it, what call it? Enrico, your grade 11. Ayan na, complete tayo ng subjects for grade 11. Salamat sa lahat. Tomorrow is ALS, Tuesday. Yes, you're, you're following um ALS um, subjects, Enrico. Okay? Bilis. Uh, <laughs> na, nagugutom po kasi ako. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a karate ka naman every session natin sa Monday, nandiyan ka, kaya hindi kita makakalimutan, okay? So, yun, nakatambayas ko na yung mga names ng mga avid viewers natin every Monday. So, for now, ako muna ang mag, ano, sa session um, every Monday, pero then may mga times din na nandiyan si Tutor Sam, tsaka si Tutor Mary Ann. Sa so, mga siguro next mga January, makikita niyo pa rin sila kasi also um, in TV, sa Itulay TV. Okay, salamat po. Till next time, Roma. Goodbye, everybody. Medyo maaga tayo ngayon ng 10 minutes. Okay, maaga tayo ng 10 minutes. So, see you next Monday. See you next Monday. Okay? Wala na tayong pa shout out. Wala na tayo. Okay, salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Have a week ahead. Okay? Goodbye yes, to each and every one of us. Goodbye. Ang bilis ng oras, no? Natapos na naman ang ating itulay online tutorial sa araw na ito. Ikaw ba ay may mga bagong natutuhan? Kung opo, abangan bukas ang ating mga kaabang-abang na itulay program. Gamitin ang hashtag itulay level up. Kita-kits bukas!